Good day, everyone. Uh, today, the clip uh, is going to be about how can you use the ERP next in the accounting stuff, you know. So I'm going to do the explanation of the basic accounting that you're supposed to know. And then we're going to try to deposit money in the bank account. And including, we're going to do one uh, entry of the opening balance, you know. Okay, so let's enjoy the video. Okay, everyone, we can start doing the transaction now. You know, I mean, the EIP system is, is similar to account, you know, I mean, the account software. But before we go to the uh, transaction, please uh, make sure that you have the basic understanding of the accounting first. Okay, so let's uh, start with some theory of the accounting you know so when we uh, do the accounting you know they have they we have three things that you support to know that is balance sheet journal entry and general ledger yeah. the balance sheet is the meaning of your business you know the business uh, you have asset. Asset is mean everything your company own. You know, I mean, it can be okay. Can can be the the product. Can be the stuff. The asset must be equal to liability and equity. You know, this this side uh, when you evaluate it in a term of money, it must be equal. Okay. So when you said asset, asset is mean the resource yeah, that that owned by the company, and then you can measure it by using the money for you. Right? The uh, asset can be tangible one, like the building, like cash, product, equipment, or land, yeah, and and other stuff. You know, I mean, tools, okay, whatever. And it can be intangible, like right? the license, you know, the the copyright, right? or ownership of trademark or whatever. That is the asset. Right? And then asset must uh part of the asset must belong to to you as the owner of the company or the debtor of the company it means uh you 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 uh, occupied asset but actually it's not your own you know i mean you still need to to pay the debt the debt the the when you said pay the debt or liability doesn't mean just only you get the money from the bank right you make the loan you know i mean sometimes when when we run the business right we can have the the business debtor that that uh, you buy the stuff from supplier and then you haven't pay, you know, so so it means the supplier is uh, your adapter. Yeah. So therefore, asset must be equal to liability and owner equity. Okay, this is the basic, you know, I mean, everything your company have must belong to you as the owner or belong to the, uh, uh, the adapter of your company. Next thing is the journal entry. Uh -huh. Whenever we have the uh, business transactions, you know, we're going to record two times. Like have, we call this system double entry. That they're going to have the debit and credit side. And these two sides must be equal. For example, when you uh, pay the money, right? So suppose you pay the money to the expense. So the expense is one side and then your, your cash is gone. You know, I mean, that is another side. So we're going to have the example later on. But let's see the terminology first. The next Next one, uh, you know, uh, every time we, we record by using the journal, we're going to have uh, the, 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 the component uh, of, of your, your company, you know, I mean, the money value of your uh, business entity, we call it account, you know, for example, this one is the owner account, this one is liability account, this one is uh, account payable, it means someone someone owe you the money. Uh -huh. So general ledger is mean we have the record of the transaction but in the term of account. So uh, like just like when I when I use the bank account to pay the money, right? So in the general ledger you're gonna see the uh, the bank account uh -huh, that 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 you you keep paying. Uh -huh. And then the general ledger they gonna come to the basic of the account uh, accounting that is the the asset equal to the uh, the liability and owner equities. Okay, so let's start with the transaction number one. Okay, so on the 3rd of February, Mr. Omi, the owner of Toy Store, uh, deposit and then I just said invest instead. You know, I mean deposit is when you put the money into bank account, right? But but in this moment, we can call invest because he, he put the money into the company, into the business, right? Mm. Okay, so we do this one. Okay? We put 300,000 baht in the 
uh, they say wing. So how can you do this one? Okay, so when when uh, the owner want to put the account, we go to journal entry. Uh, okay, we go to journal entry and then we click new. Okay. So we're gonna have the journal entry. The date is the third of February. Okay, the finance book. Uh, okay, we didn't use the separate finance book, so we just leave it. Uh, so we have the base saving, uh, the, the saving account that we do uh, in the previous video. Uh, and then we put the money for, okay, how much? Let's say check. Uh, uh, 300,000 baht. Okay, so we just put it 300,000 baht. So it means in the debit, it means that the account of the saving, uh, I mean the bank account, you put 300,000 baht. Uh, and then I add row. So when we do this thing, uh, when we do this thing, we can just put the owner equity immediately uh, but uh, what I gonna do is I gonna put it to temporary account uh, so it means that uh, I said uh, temporary opening uh, so it means that we have uh, the, the account and then I just said temporary and then you can put the reference number for something like the bank account or note or comment whatever so I just said uh, okay before I submit uh, I just go into the new tab and then I just want to tell you that when I do this one, I go into the chart of account. You know, what is the chart of account? Chart of account is mean the list of on account in your accounting system. Now, I mean accounting part of, of the ERP. Now, so you're gonna see something like the asset the ability, now, something like this one. Okay, so I want you to see the equity. In this equity, now when you start running, you may you may have uh, capital, dividend, return, and then you're gonna see OMI's equity. This one is I just add. You can click add chart and then add this one. Okay. When you add, you just leave the account uh, account number uh, just empty. Let them automatically generate. Okay. And then the, the account, you can put it like the equity account. Yeah, something like this. Okay. When you just put it, yeah, they're going to have in the equity in in here, okay, this one is the owner account, right? Okay, just put the name. Okay, so this one we just think about the very small business. Now we can put something like the stock, but but at this moment we just put like we just do it like we have only one owner. Okay, we can come back and then at this moment we have the temporary account already. So we just click submit. When you click submit, uh, so this one is mean we do the we do the, the account already. You can go out. Okay, I just put another tab in order to make it uh, quite okay convenient. And then I go back to the the account, and then I see the balance sheet. Uh, so in the balance sheet, uh, they gonna have the asset, right? This one, the asset asset is go to uh, three hundred. Uh, thousand baht in the base saving account, right? And then they have temporary account, just temporary opening. So this means that it's still in the asset side. Uh, so the asset side is still zero. So we didn't have the equity jet. So we go back here, and then what we do in here, this one, the transaction number one, right? We do temporary opening, and then we do one more now one more thing that is temporary opening debit side and then omi equity what i do it gonna do it right now is i go to journal entry and then i new and I create and have journal entry so i said temporary opening this one and then i add row okay. another one is the omi account omi equity okay i'm sorry so what we gonna do is we just put they have the temporary and then it's gonna be the equity of the owner. Uh, at this moment, I just put the it's the Omi name, and then you can put the reference, the remark, or whatever. Uh, so I just do this one, and then I save. Uh, okay. And after that, you go to see the the entry. Now uh, this one. Oh, okay. I have to submit, so I just submit it. Okay. Here we are. And then after I submit, I go back to balance sheet, and then I refresh. So when you refresh, we have equity now, and then equity is 300,000 baht. So it's, this one is mean when you invest, uh, the equity side go up to uh, 300,000, and then the, the account is mean the asset 
it's become uh, 300,000. So it means we have the money to spend. However, okay, after we do this, that is for the transaction number one. Transaction number two, yeah, when we do the ERP system, most of the time we do the continue uh, system, right? I mean, you used to have the previous system. Sometimes it is just just a book, yeah, or maybe you just have some software before, okay? So what we're going to do is we call opening balance. O opening balance is mean you, you just continue your, your book. Yeah, I mean, you, you may change the system, or maybe you close the previous book already. When you want to do opening balance, make sure that you are across the uh, previous period or most of the time we do fiscal year you know i mean if the the previous year you haven't crossed you know the 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 man, uh, the, the uh, money amount may be changed so it's mean everything you do is waste so you need to do it again so make sure that you you make sure that you you uh, cross the previous book first so in this one on the 5th of uh, february what we're gonna do is mean we're gonna have bay check. Uh, bay check is mean the default account. We didn't put the word check, but just bay, right? And then uh, this one belongs to Mr. Omi. Again, okay. so what we're gonna do is we go to we go to the account and then journal entry. Okay, and this one we set new. And then this new. Now uh, this one, what we can do is we can do the opening entry. Uh, something like this one. Uh, and then we can set bay msme this one is like the the the, the account ah okay when we set opening entry we can list on of this stuff okay so it means you can just open the previous year book and then we just put it all okay but anyway we we just have only one so we didn't need to use the opening entry uh, so we just go back to the journal entry uh, like, like this uh, and then maybe i just need to Okay, so I think maybe I, I go out and then just do it again. Okay, go back to account, journal entry, and then new. Okay, here we are. Now just journal entry, and then I put to the to the uh, check account, right? Check this, the default, so I just didn't put the uh, anything in here. Okay, and then this time I put uh, in the credit side, I set the opening. Uh, opening balance equity MSMB. So this one is means sometimes you you know that this this is the equity jet but but you didn't uh, you just need to match this one like with the with the uh, previous book right okay however in the previous book they should have uh, this opening balance uh, equal to somewhere you know maybe it's gonna go to loan or it may go to another asset but anyway uh, at this moment we I just Click save, okay, and then just submit uh, like this one. Okay, after submit, you can see the balance like this. Uh, okay, so we have the equity, so we know that this one is equity. Uh, but this one is the opening balance that that we just uh, bring it from the from the previous previous one. Okay, so this one is the is the uh, the equity uh, that that is. Uh, that is the opening opening balance. So it means this is the equity from 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 uh, last last uh, last book, yeah, something like this. Okay. And then please make sure that in order to do this one, uh, make sure that after you update on the account, uh, shadow account temporarily must be zero. Okay. So we can check with her the temporary account is zero on us so this one we have the money to to spend already right so because the, we have the opening balance for 500,000 and then what we gonna have is we have the okay i gonna see the ledger in here yeah, so the balance sheet is matched already so i just go to see the ledger yeah. okay here we are yeah, so this is the the ledger, right? So so you see the base saving. We have the uh, temporary account, and then we have the uh, omi the equity, right? And then the opening balance from the previous previous year, right? Okay, and then this one the uh, temporary opening uh, on balance is become zero. Yeah, you see something like this one. Yeah, so if you come to to check, yeah, so this one. Uh, we come to check this one is the ledger, right? We go to the balance sheet. You will not see temporary anymore, so it means it's become zero. 
Okay, so this one is on you need to know in order to do the opening balance and then put the money into the bank account. Okay, thank you and see you again next video.